Aaron Rodgers is still not a New York Jet. Right. Is it going to happen? Like Another rumor we see, the San Francisco 49ers are now said to be interested in acquiring Aaron freaking Rodgers. I just, I cannot believe the New York Jets would let him get away. Like, I would be stunned Uh if the Jets, who are so quarterback thirsty, they have zero starting quarterbacks on their roster. You have got to go and get Aaron Rodgers, and if you got to give up that first round pick, I think you got to do it. Yeah, I just don't understand why there's so much hesitancy around it. I don't understand why why this is some shocking revelation that the Packers would expect a first round pick for Aaron Rodgers. I mean, what are we talking about here? I mean, did you really think that you were going to be able to get away by giving second and third round picks as compensation? I think they like, did. Like, I, I mean, think they did. I, I don't know what world you're living in, and, and, and I hate to be an asshole about it, but this is what the Jets do. This is who they've always been. This is how you run your crappy organization. Like, this is why you are the Jets every single year, and this is why you're going to be a defensive team that never is going to win anything because you can't get a deal done. They have the 13th pick in the first round, and the Packers want that pick if they're going to trade Aaron freaking Rodgers. If you're the Jets, would you give that up? Yes. yes. You would. Yes, because what happened to the narrative of we're one player away? What happened to the week five, week six? Oh, my God. If we had a quarterback, you know, not named Zach Wilson, we would be a playoff team. What, what happened but to let's that? Let's be honest about this. Yeah. If you are, and again, this is just my opinion. If you are the New York Jets and you're looking at Aaron Rodgers, can you really say, okay, he's going to win us a Super Bowl? He has not been a great postseason player. You can't say, hey, he's going to win us a Super Bowl, but you can definitely say, hey, he's going to take us to the playoffs. He's good enough. You'll be the best team in the division. I, I, and I am not the, I am not the guy that has blood flowing to the lower extremities on Josh Allen the way you do. I, well, but stay hard. You, am I wrong? Hey, guy gets him to the postseason. I he does. But if if the Jets get Aaron Rodgers, they're a better team than they are nah. a better team than the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, maybe. You, you doubt bunch, that? You got a bunch of young guys on that defense who haven't played a postseason game. Oh, I think they're phenomenal defensively. The I'm question is, do they? Good. Yeah, I don't. I don't I, know. They're man. a good defense, but but I feel like everyone just is like, well, if you got talent on your roster and they show they can do it in the regular season, that means it'll ball out in the postseason. I'm telling you, that's not the case. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it is interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. It is going to be interesting to see. I, I am, and again, this is just my opinion. I think Aaron Rodgers is at a tipping point in his, his career yeah. where if you were to trade for him, I think he would be highly motivated yeah. to try and win a Super Bowl to save his legacy. But I'm certainly not putting all my chips in on him. I, I am not putting all my chips in to say that that he's going to – I no, I'm not. I think it's a mistake. And if I'm the Jets – I'm probably trading that 13th overall pick if that's what it comes down to. But now that you supposedly allegedly have the 49ers involved in it, I think that changes things significantly. If you're Aaron Rodgers, you trying to be in the AFC or the NFC? Oh, I think he would love to shove it up the rear orifice of the Green Bay Packers. I think he would love to be a San Francisco 49er. <laughs> and remember, he went to Cal, so he's got uh, regional familiarity. He's going like, home. I I think he would love that. And the only question that I have is, what do the Niners have to offer? Because they don't have a first-round pick. Yeah. So what do you have to offer if you're the San Francisco 49ers that the Jets don't have? It's I'm telling you, my, my firm opinion is this is going to come down to whether or not the Jets want to give up a first-round pick. Yeah, but if you're the Jets, are you really willing – to to not do a deal over one first round. Apparently, pick. like that's incredible Apparently. to me, dude. Like, when is it? Like, seriously, when is the last time the New York freaking Jets, the 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 Rex Ryan's of the world, the 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 Robert Salas of the world? When's the last time you had a guy that could actually be productive for you, dude? Like, I, like Mark Sanchez, Zach Wilson, you know, Chad Henney, like all these guys. None of them are Aaron Rodgers, dude. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I don't know, man. It's incredible. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ryan Fair, you can't fault the Jets for not wanting to trade the 13th pick in the draft for a dude who hung out in a cave and almost retired. <laughs> well, I don't disagree with that. Brandon Butler says J E T S Nix Nix Nix. <laughs> Roasting. Geoff says, hey, get off the Wi Fi again. This is skippy as hell. Geoff, dude. We've bro. investigated the skippy problem and it's not us. Yeah. It's not us. We have troubleshot that MF or to the end. You know. Um, let's see. Uh, Jaron Eccles also says, you seem to have forgotten the Dolphins are going to rule that division for the next five years. Well, you got to have a quarterback to do that. Oh, well, we know Jaron is a Dolphins guy. You got to have a quarterback to do that. Like, tell me I'm wrong. You've got to have a quarterback to do that. And I don't know that they do. I am not a Tua guy. I do not believe in Tua. I don't think he can stay healthy. If he was healthy, we'd be having a different discussion. But whether it's the hip or the this his or the, his brain, 17 concussions, I just don't think he can stay healthy. Yeah. And if you don't have a quarterback, you're not going to win that division. Yeah. You're not, in my opinion. Uh, Bryce Martin says Zach Wilson, LOL. Yeah. This is the other thing, by the way. With the Jets, I think it's interesting that they need Aaron Rodgers to mentor Zach Wilson. I think they need Aaron Rodgers to mentor him in a very, but very is bad Wilson way. Wilson the guy who wants to even be mentored? Oh, I think he does. I think he realizes his career is in the balance. Yeah. You know, I, I think that is, I think that's yeah. a, that's a big, big deal. That is a big, big deal. All right. Football 50, 10 of the hour. Every hour on the Monty Show is presented by our good friends at Papa Murphy's Pizza. Papa Murphy's Pizza. Make sure you use the promo code Monty25 to get 25% off your purchase of $25 or more. I, I am surprised that this Jets trade has not happened yet. Yeah. And maybe just because we're not down to the deadline or maybe because we're not right at the 11th hour of the NFL draft. Totally get down with that. Yeah. Totally understand that. But at some point, the the Jets are going to have to make a move to secure Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Because you're not going to go and guarantee Lamar Jackson money. So why would you why would you pay him? Yeah. Right. You're you're not doing that. I mean, you, you're in you're you're uh, at quarterback. You're no different than the Indianapolis Colts, who said today that Jim Irsay said he wants to draft a quarterback. There's no doubt about that. So I think that's a this this thing with quarterbacks in the NFL. I struggle because it's beyond comprehension that you like the Dolphins, Jaron. Yeah, that your whole success and failure is tied to to a tongue of Iloa not getting another concussion. When we all know the science perfectly states one concussion means you're going to get several more. Yeah, 